Today, use purple for that, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Strong's Garage. Hey, I'm Matt, Jim here. And today, we've got another video for you. Yeah, another real exciting one. You bet. And uh, today is not gonna be so much work related as it is uh, play related. Yeah, exactly. You've seen us working on all parts of the cars, but here we're gonna get a little more involved with the steering wheel and the gas pedal. Yeah, so uh, we've done several videos on the car over the last while, a uh, year maybe. It's a 1932 Ford Roadster. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful car. And the owner of the car is a Wonderful guy, we've done work on uh, several of his vehicles, and it's one of those projects where we saw pretty much eye to eye with the fella on how to do it, and it turned out, yeah, top shelf, beautifully, cars you like, so we'll do a little tour on that today. Mm -hmm. So we just want to say thanks to all the patrons for patronizing us. We put up uh, a little, starting a technical library on there, and a resource, as well as uh, videos that don't make it to YouTube. Yeah, for sure, but then... A big thanks to all you YouTube Absolutely. folks because, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's wonderful. Everybody's watching, liking, subscribing, telling yeah. their friends. So. It's great. It makes it all worthwhile and uh, glad you folks are enjoying the show. So without further ado, let's go look at this 32. <laughs> right, here we are with the quintessential Deuce Roadster. Yeah, not your little Deuce Coupe, but your little Deuce Roadster. This is the 32 Ford with the V8, known as the Model 18. If it was a four-cylinder, it would be a B model. But uh, this car came to us about a year and a half ago, uh, looking sort of the same, but really undrivable. Oh, for sure, it just been, uh, it drove how it looked. Yeah, and so our task was to completely go through the car mechanically, and we did it incrementally, just as we had time, sort of, and parts and whatever, but we've done a few videos on it. We rebuilt the brake system, the mechanical brakes, steering, steering, and engine, and kind of just fine-tuned every aspect of it mechanically. It drives like new. Oh, it's fantastic! And with all these mechanical systems, it's a matter of chasing every little bit of wear out of each part. It's not just one thing yeah. usually. Because if you have a sixteenth of an inch here and a sixteenth inch there and a sixteenth here and a sixteenth there, by the time you get to the end, like pushing on your mechanical brakes, you've got an inch of slop and You're no brakes. You're out of rope, yeah. yeah. So. Long story short, the customer and us saw exactly eye to eye of what we thought the car should be when it was done, which is this. Now, what it is, is it's actually a Brookville body, which is a reproduction steel body, uh, made to look old, and the three fenders, but the rest of the car is all original 32 Ford parts. And in an amazing shape, like this is the original pinstripe here. Yeah, from original 32. paint, and the original headlights, bar, the chassis itself. The car is very much stock. It is lowered in the front with merely a reversed eye main leaf spring. So it's about an inch and a half or inch and three quarters lower in the front than stock. The underpinnings of this car are very much stock 32 Ford except for it's got a newer flathead in it and it's got a little newer transmission but the rear end, front end, brake system, steering, uh, basically everything you see is 32 Ford. We had a lot of fun building this car and we're pretty proud of it and it does drive quite good. So yeah. let's go for a tour. So the car has a few neat accessories and stuff on it. Uh, it's got a locking spare tire cover, the V8 one. That's original, that's really, really neat. Uh, cowl lights. But the main thing is the engine we built for it, which is a 1946 Ford flathead that we uh, souped up a slight bit. Oh yeah, just for uh, performance sakes. We did a horn relocation as per the owner's request. And this is the original 32 Ford horn with this taper so that it fits down in the uh, beside the grill there, but looks cool cleaned up. So it's a 1946 Ford flathead with a four inch stroke and it's bored an eighth over, so it's 276 cubic inch now. It's got adjustable lifters, Iski Max 1 camshaft, two Stromberg 97s on it, on this Edmunds equipment. This Edmunds stuff is from the 1950s. It has an original firewall. It was an American car, so it has this uh, tag on it. The Canadian cars didn't. Um, so 1950s speed equipment. It's fitted with just stock-sized valves, a very mild cam, stock 46 ignition that we rebuilt, 1946-style spark plug wires. Basically just kept it looking old. Yeah, we went through all the electrical. Yeah. It's all working and just yeah. completely... Uh, so one of the interesting things of this car that I really love is that although it's a little worse for wear, it does have an original 1932 Ford Roadster interior. So this is something else to have even the semblance of an interior this old. 
um, original 32 Ford gauges. It has the wrong column drop on it, but that's okay. Steering wheel's 32. Original 32 Ford windshield as well. Oh yeah. Which is pretty neat. But all this stuff here, if you look at these door panels, is all original. Roadster parts. And it's just amazing that it's even survived at all. And I think that really adds character to the car. A little bit of duct tape here and there, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's pretty comfortable. Oh, very comfortable. Yeah. We installed that uh, glass shifter knob. We put that on. That was our little touch. Another thing that's really cool about this car is it's a rumble seat car. So it has the original rumble seat cushions, which is, I mean, they're again, yeah, a little still worse for wear, but intact. Seat. And it's got, uh, the tires on the car are probably 25 years old, so they're a bit square. So the next plan with the car is to, we're just waiting to order some tires. We're going to put a slightly larger tire on the back to give it a little more aggressive look. Pick up a few miles an hour, but um, overall it's pretty cool. It looks the best when it's dirty. That's the nice thing about, yeah, yeah. cars like this is that you can use them and they just look better through use. It looks like a 32 Ford would have looked in about 1936, aside from the engine, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so if we close that up. And that again is an original 32 Ford hood. It's just amazing. You know, yeah, all this incredible. stuff is so cool. I think we cleaned it up, but not too much. And it's got original 32 Ford latches and it uses the 32 Ford mount on the front. And we took a couple of different sets of actual Ford molded hose and cut them to make this pipe thing. Well, we just did a few neat things. Sick, it's got a big fan on it. What else can we show Jim? Oh, that back window there. Oh yeah. So when you're, oh, I guess we can. The window in these tops is very cool. This is a, a new top, but it's been aged to look, to look old. So it fits the car. When your passengers are in the rumble, you can chat. And me and Jim actually talked a bit. It was uh, reasonable. Quite pleasant, yeah. And if you don't want to talk to him, you merely <laughs> close this down and just shut them out into the weather. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with a few simple snaps here. Then Barely weatherproof. Yeah. Basically, it has, uh, those are the correct 1932 Ford 18-inch wheels that are on it. Um, the car has, uh, yeah, everything works. The lever shocks work. The car really does handle and drive like new. Yeah. And if we, uh, it, it starts and runs so well, we added a couple of gauges, just they're modern, that look old, just so you have uh, oh, yeah. some contact with the new engine. There is a accessory 32 Ford dual gauges and stuff you could get, but this is what we had, so. I mean, this thing really does, it's a treat. Yeah, it's incredible. Every aspect of the car as it was works. Cowl lights work, horn works, e-brake works. It's a brand new engine that probably only has about 250 or 300 miles on it, so we're gonna drive it a bit more, and uh, then we're gonna reset the valves because they're, like I said, adjustable lifters, so that's one thing we have to do yet. Wait for our new tires, but overall, the car is ready for enjoyment for many, many years. And uh, yeah, we're pretty happy with how it turned out. And, uh, Anything else we can see? Yeah, well, it speaks for itself. We show this side of the engine, I guess. Oh, yeah. This side looks cool. So, we just cleaned up some of the wiring. It was kind of hokey on the car and stuff. We made the fuel lines. Um, it has headers and dual exhaust, little smithy mufflers. It's beautiful. We put the genuine Stromberg kits in because that's the only way to go if you're going to rebuild the original Strombergs. It took about four carburetors to make two. And uh, that's another thing that makes the car really good is when you rebuild a carburetor, you have to rebuild every aspect of the car. So it's throttle shafts and throttle plates and emulsion tubes out and clean everything and, and the car runs perfect. Starts good, runs good, idles good. So yeah, no, we're really proud of the car. And
It's a lot of fun. I hope uh, Doug loves the car as much as we do, because yeah, I'd sure right? like to keep it. <laughs> well, now that you've seen the car, yeah, we might as well uh, go see if it performs as well as it looks. So what we've got is a beautiful part of the country up here. I really love our part of Alberta a lot. Yeah, and the Great um, Plains. The Great Plains. And we have a wonderful national park minutes away. Yeah. It was founded in 1913, the Selk Island National Park. So we thought we'll do a, a proper driving tour of the park in the 32 Ford. Yeah, get to, you guys get to experience the, uh, oh, just the wonderful time that we had touring yeah. about. Yeah, in the car, out of the car, around the car. And like we've said before, it's, uh, it's an experience in time traveling when you have a vehicle like that because if you look down the hood of a car like that, out past the headlights to a gravel road and trees, that view is no different than it was 91 years ago. Oh yeah. So that's fun. And another thing is, uh, in that car, because it got a top, you're, you're able to keep your hat on. This straw hat here, I was once told by uh, one of my best friends, George Thompson, Never hire a man with a straw hat or lace-up shoes because all day he's either chasing his hat or tying his shoes. <laughs> True words, have never been spoken. So let's go for a drive.
I think just have like a driving tour of the park, just having people right. be a relaxing thing. Yeah, that's a great idea. We see some bubblers. Yeah, right.
say. Well, there you have it, folks. Yeah, just a wonderful, wonderful time. Yeah, yeah we've nice. got a few. The the car's going back to the owner now, and he's going to drive it for a while. We're waiting on a couple of things, just to tweak a few things to make it perfect. But overall, the car performs flawlessly, and it's a real treat to drive. Yeah, real. Uh... And we maintained uh, 32 Ford mechanical brakes that work perfectly when they're rebuilt and adjusted properly. It also has a 32 Ford steering box. But we upgraded it with the 33, 34 Ford gears, gives you a little better steering ratio. But other than that, it's pretty much 32 yeah, as yeah. it was. So maybe we'll have some trickery going on with the rear end. We're pricing on a few different options because it's 411s now, so it, uh, it's yeah, got, it's good for park tours, but the highway yeah, tours not so much. Not so much. The motor can handle it, but uh, the yeah. car kind of gets up there. So, anyways, there you go, 32 Ford in a national park. Yeah. Thanks for watching.